Seconded. Uh, and now I call on Minister Sherlock uh, to respond to the debate. Uh, thank you, Cahir. Look, uh, it, there's a wide array of, of motions there, so I'll do my best to respond as quickly as possible uh, in the time allotted. Uh, just to say that on the whole issue of the social economy and social enterprise, uh, that I, as Minister, uh, has been tasked with this very issue. Uh, I'm, I'm working with Paul, who was the proposer of the motion, and we are working with Forfoss to stake out uh, a government policy around the whole area uh, of the social economy in a way that can mine the potential uh, of this area as espoused in the motion and as articulated by Paul. Uh, in relation to the South East, uh, let me say that uh, I again as a research minister have uh, visited the South East on a number of occasions. I've been to WIT, Waterford Institute of Technology, to that excellent centre that exists there, the TSSG, which is being run by Willie Donnelly, there, there's, and, and also to the Techovate conference as well, and visited the FUSE initiative. There's a lot of things that are going on within the South East uh, at present that is positive. I think the government, through the uh, particular... Uh, action plan has a set of uh, targets that it seeks to achieve in relation to the South East, but it, it, the, the motion is duly noted and supported, and I think there is uh, definitely uh, a, a, a willingness uh, and, and a deliberate attempt by government to ensure that the South East uh, is seen as uh, on a par with the other regions uh, throughout the country. So that's just a very broad overview. I don't want to go into the specifics of what we're doing because of time allocation. Uh, in, relation to, um, in, in relation to Motion 104, uh, well, let me refer to pensions first. I think the motion put forward by SIPTU and by Jack O'Connor as President I think has been uh, addressed uh, by Brendan Howland in the last session and by Joan, as I understand it. So I, that is you know, without question to be supported in, in my view, uh, to be accepted. Uh, also to accept composite motion uh, number seven. Uh, but on 104, and I don't want to be controversial around this, uh, I fear I may be, the, the original motion seems to me to be incongruous to the addendum. I willingly accept motion 104. The addendum, I fear, by virtue of its wording, could open up the potential to reintroduce uh, you know, a, a negotiation on, on, on bonuses again. Now, that is why, and I'm not playing politics with this, that is why I'm just asking that, given that this legislation is under review, uh, that I'm asking that conference would refer back uh, the addendum and that we would accept uh, the motion if that is... Uh, you know, if, if, if conference is willing to do that. Uh, the justification is that, uh, and bear with me, um, that the Act is due for review at the end of 2012. And while conference call, it says conference calls on the Labour Party and government to ensure that in the course of the two-year review provided for, that those sections which repudiate the contractual rights of staff will be deleted or appropriately amended and as an immediate policy decision restore the ability of workers to pursue industrial relations matters, including access to the LRC. That is without question. There's no, there's no ambiguity about that in terms of supporting the aspirations uh, of the amendment. But I, I just want to be sure that uh, the wording of the amendment or, or of the addendum could not be interpreted in such a way as to suggest that we would open up a bonus culture again uh, in relation to uh, the banking sector. I think we absolutely and utterly support the rights uh, of, of counter staff, of back office staff. Uh, as a former employee of a bank myself, I would absolutely and utterly uh, support uh, the addendum in that context, but I'm just fearful of how this might be interpreted, and that is why I'm asking the conference would refer uh, this back. So I, I think we should accept uh, every motion that is put forward. On the TUPE legislation, uh, my strong view is that uh, 
I think it's, it's a very strongly made point. I'm just wondering, should there be a further discussion around this very amendment as, as well? Uh, you know, I, I would be willing as a minister to sit down and discuss this TUP legislation. I would ask that maybe a formal engagement would be had with myself on this one. Uh, I think we should accept uh, the amendment and as we should accept uh, all of the other amendments discussed as well in the section. But I'm only merely asking for the addendum on 104 to be referred back and, and I'll close it off there, Chairman. Thank you.